My heart goes out to little school kids who are asked to read history. Remembering years, remembering names, remembering who fought who, suddenly is a huge challenge. At least when you sit and watch Pune 7 or PS, as it's called in Telugu, made by Mani Brother. You are absolutely confused for the first one hour. By the time you are at the interval, you have a short nap, largely disturbed by unnecessary songs, vague costumes, loud wars, and names of kings and queens who look like they borrowed names from their Russian cousins. Mani Ratnam is completely out of sync with this man. His USP is so and one thing that's completely missing in this costume drama is so. Kalki Krishnamurti's five volume, six volume novel in part one reduced to three hours is about kings, overdressed queens, fights, maniacal men, who badly need to go to the spa or to the saloon. Wearing wigs, you would have, sometimes you don't know whether you are looking at uh, J, uh, J.M. Ram or Vikram Prabhu. They are also confusing. What is it all about? It's about looking at all this through the eyes of uh, Karthik, who plays Vallava Raju. He goes as an emissary of a king. On the one hand, you have Prakash Raj, whose two sons, played by Vikram and 
विक्रम ठाकुर आर वाइंग फॉर द पैलेस एंड द क्राउन दे हैव अनदर सेट ऑफ स्मॉल किंग्स हु आर टू रिकॉग्नाइज देम हेडेड बाय शरद बाबू एंड हाउ दे आर ऑल प्लानिंग the intrigue is all the things and how there is this queen figure in aishwarya rai who we don't know what she is we don't know why she is where she is how what her role is maybe in the second part of